What's up, sons? It's Blind Round with Son of Attack once again. And if you haven't heard of Verge, I'm going to give you a little bit of info on it and how to mine it with NVIDIA GPUs with AMD GPU how-to coming later. So stick around. Welcome back. So Verge is another privacy coin. Other privacy coins are things like Monero and Zcash. The thing that's special about Verge is that it hasn't quite risen to any crazy heights of value yet, meaning that it's easier to mine, kind of like Ubique is when I talked about Ubique in this video up here, except it's even easier to mine. And the other nice thing is that it actually does have something called Wraith Protocol, which is something to believe in if you are into cryptocurrencies at all, as if it does what they promise it will do, it will be able to mask IPs along with the other privacy features for coins like Monero added into it. So this is some pretty exciting stuff coming out and I'm just gonna go through how to mine it. So let's get to it. Alrighty, so starting things off, you need to get a wallet or you can mine to one of the various exchanges that support it. Bittrex is one that does support it. So you could go into Bittrex and then click your wallets and then click the little search for Verge. Mine's already up there. And then click the little plus button and then copy the address from here. Or the alternative, which I think you should keep most of your currency not in exchange because exchanges go down all the time and the FBI doesn't like them sometimes because of laundering. And for something like Verge, where it's a privacy coin, that's a lot more likely, unfortunately. So anyways, if you click wallets on the vergecurrency.com website, it'll take you to a various uh, wallet options since we're doing Windows, we're gonna go with a Windows Electrum wallet. That way we don't have to download the entire blockchain. There is a Tor wallet as well. If you click the desktop, let's see. I think there's also a Windows Tor wallet. I'm not seeing it right now, but there used to be. Maybe I'm wrong now. I have the version. I don't know why it's not on here. Anyways. We don't want that because you would need to have a Tor connection, which that's a whole other thing that we'll need to go over in a different video. So you'll just click download on the Electrum wallet. Oh, that is the Tor wallet right there. I just downloaded the wrong one. Don't do what I just did. We want this one on the far left. Alrighty. And then we will show it in folder. I just like to cut this and for demonstration purposes, let's just throw it on the desktop here. All right, now that it's on the desktop, we can extract it. So extract files here, dun 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 dun. And then we just need to run the electrum-xvg.exe, which will pull us into here. Mine's already connected. It'll take you through a little connection process to generate the wallet and your passcodes, et cetera, et cetera. And then you want to click receive, and then you want to select one that's going to say never expire. And for this, I just say like uh, mining wallet, and then save. Once that's saved, this will be your address that you will place into your script for running the miner. The next thing we're going to need to get after we've gotten our wallet is a miner. So today we're going to go with CC miner. We're going to avoid the test binaries because it does require Nvidia driver 384, which I do have on this machine, but you always want to go with a more stable version. 2.2 is out. We have a 64 bit version of Windows. So that is the version we are going to download here. Note that it is dot seven zip. So you will have to download seven zip to extract this because a typical compression decompression tool will not decompress seven zip. I'll leave a download link for seven zip in the description below, but here's what it looks like. Alrighty. So once we've gotten this downloaded, we're just going to do the same thing and cut it from our downloads file so you guys get an idea. And then we're going to extract it to the desktop. 
Alrighty, so this shows you all the files. I recommend putting it in a separate folder, but for demonstration purposes, it's gonna be easy. It does come with a few uh, bat files already pre-configured for DCR, DNR, KMD, and uh, SIGT. So we're not gonna be using any of these. We're gonna be creating our own. I'm just gonna pull up an example config that I already have if I can find it here real quick for you guys. Let's see, I believe I had one built on this computer already. Here it is. So I have this run x17 soaked. I'm just gonna throw it down here. And if you're going to be creating your own bat file, you would right click, say new, and text document. And then you would do like start dot bat. If you don't see the option to edit the extension, you can do that by searching folders, clicking the show hidden folders deal, and then unchecking hide extensions to known file types right here. But once you've created the bat, you are going to edit it, and you'll see here that we have a batch file, which will target CC minor in the directory that it's in, the algorithm here is going to be X17. The intensity, you can leave it auto and remove this if you want. The 18 works well for 1063 gigabyte cards in my experience. And then you'll want to put the pool address. And yes, we do have our own pool at sonofatech.com, but it is very, very brand new. Therefore, if you are cool enough to want to help us out and grow it, that's awesome, but your profit's not gonna start showing up in the wallet because as you see, we only have like four test miners going on right now. So if we do get around to it, we're going to be boosting this up and hopefully you guys will be joining in and then we can start mining to our own wallet. Part of the reason for this is that I am US based and the only option for US based has an issue it's Z pool and they've been taking 20% uh, without telling people essentially so here's one of the threads on that I'll leave that in the description below so my recommended pool if you want to get started is going to be yimp so if you go over to yimp you can hit home and you can get the kind of base uh, script which I'll leave a link of course, I'll just go ahead and put in the description the script for you guys. And then you're going to want to find whatever port this is on. So this is on port 3737. But for today, my example script, I'm going to use my own pool, which is multipool.sonofatech.com. And we use port 3333 for Verge. And then we have our wallet address. Pass the dash U is going to be your wallet address. So take this address and replace it with whatever your wallet address is. And then after the dot, put a name, a friendly name, so you know which rig you're running on. So once you've done that, just click File and Save. And you should be good to go if we did everything right. Double click the bat file to start it. And if the miner should start. You want to just verify that you are starting on the right pool. It is running really slow. There we go. So now we have the GPU zero. It's a GTX 1080 Ti. And our hash rate is 8.5 mega hash a second or 8,559 kilo hash a second. This card does go a little bit higher, but keep in mind I'm using NVMe to record right now, which is probably part of our issue. Now, the other issue I had is that my video camera died a part of the way through recording this. So, unfortunately, you won't get to see my beautiful face at the end of this video. But, as it is, make sure if the video was helpful that you hit the like button down below. If it was unhelpful, hit the dislike, leave a comment, and tell me why. And don't forget to hit that sub if you haven't already. And I will see you next Tuesday.